What's up guys, how you guys doing today? This is Colin Osborne and welcome to Technology at Work. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up a Facebook page and specifically a Facebook business page. A Facebook business page can do a lot for you. It helps you connect with different Facebook users in your community and it'll allow you to provide a more personal connection of your business to people in your community. So the biggest thing that we're gonna be talking about in here is exactly the entire setup, how to optimize it, make sure the right information is the right place, where to specifically put the Facebook page at, how to promote it, how to invite people for to like your Facebook page is gonna be very important because the more people that are interacted with your Facebook page are gonna allow you to be able to show your products and services more, which includes um, launching any types of products, um, in the future or just simply if you have an offer that you want to share it'll be a lot easier when you have more of a database of people um, from your audience so what we're going to be doing is we're going to hop into the computer and we'll get started really excited you guys are uh, jumping on board hop in what's up guys how you guys doing it's your boy colin osborne and welcome to technology at work again in this video, we're going to be talking about essentially how to create a Facebook business page and also what it takes to optimize one. One thing about Facebook is that it's a great way to connect with customers and promote your products and services. One thing about Facebook, it has over 2 billion active users. So it's one of the most popular social media platforms and provides a wealth of opportunities for your business. So um, if you have not already, make sure you guys go to colinosborn.com, then the next thing you'll be doing is clicking on blog in order to grab, um, I'm just gonna click over to the article, how to set up a Facebook business page. On this blog, I specifically go over exactly how to set up one step-by-step, -step, showing the short descriptions. And I find that these follow-on videos are very informal because it allows you to kind of follow through with a blog post. So, uh, one thing about a Facebook business page is, you know, once again, you're going to be connected with your customers and your community. So, first step would be going to facebook.com slash business and clicking create the page. So, that's what I'm going to do. I've already kind of pulled that up for us already. Um, now, Facebook is now meta. If you guys um, have been living under a rock for the uh, past year and a half so-ish, but Facebook is now meta. So you will be using this system, this platform here as a um, catalyst or a catapult for your business page. And you're going to go to the top right corner and you see where you can click and create an ad, which this is also a place where you can do Facebook ads, advertising for your business. And in, in courses down the road, I'm going to be going over exactly how to set up a Facebook business page. I mean, excuse me, a Facebook ad for your business page. But anyways, you scroll up to the top right hand corner, you're going to see the bottom right. Um, excuse me, close that. And if you let me just some technical difficulties. Reset this here. All right, so you would click on create a page here. And then essentially it's going to take you to the create a page window. You can either go into creating a business or a brand, or you can create a community or public figure. And the difference is going to be depending on essentially uh, what type of business plan you have. If you're a public figure in an area like an online coaching consultant, there's different features and tools that are, in my opinion, going to provide you a better experience in Facebook. If you go the public figure out for, for creating a page versus creating a business brand, there are different tools and features like allowing yourself to have a shop and um, different promotional tools via the Facebook business page. So I'm going to let you guys go and fill out that information. It's very simple and easy. And then what we'll do is we'll hop in to uh, what you should be doing after you have submitted all that information to sign up for a Facebook page. All right, so here is an example of a Facebook page 
this essentially is a um, subsidiary of Ozon called Entrepreneur to CEO. And essentially it is an online coaching program dedicated to average people who want access to entrepreneurship and um, creating this Facebook page organically has gotten a lot of likes over time just be because of the, 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 um, the title entrepreneur to CEO. It's very st st um, straightforward when it, when you look at it, you understand exactly the transition and you should uh, try to label your business name or Facebook page as that. If you're trying to um, attract more customers in your specific community, I've had it with like um, uh, an Italian restaurant in Charlotte, North Carolina that I got to page one. This is also a, a, a portion to do SEO as well, because um, if you have, I don't know if you guys know anything about SEO, but having, if you're trying to rank in a specific area, having the city name and industry is going to be very beneficial uh, for your uh, citations and getting your Google map listing higher um, and having that information also placed inside of the um, Facebook page. But anyways, so you can have a cover photo, you can have a profile, make sure that you have something that fits inside the circles that people can see and they identify with it. Also creating a, um, having a nice cover photo. If you guys um, haven't already, and you go into my website and you click on resources, you'll see that you can easily uh, sign up for Canva, which allows you to be able to create these, uh, create a logo super easy and simple without actually having to hire a expensive web designer or a, a graphic designer. And the same thing goes for your Facebook page cover photo, and you'll be able to create pre-templated uh, digital graphics that fit inside of these metrics extremely easy from um, using Canva. So I just wanted to provide you guys with that information. So you, so, cause some people, I remember when I first started, I was like, well, now I have to go create all this information. Um, or create all this, all these documents from scratch using, you know, Photoshop and stuff like that. In reality, like there are systems out there to help you, um, uh, be to make your life a lot easier when it comes to building out your web page. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to uh, add, let's go to the back end portion so we can edit everything. So where I'm going to be going is clicking on edit here. And I just want to go over and see just a little bit about what I have here. So I use a couple of different, um, I would say, platforms in order to get my information across. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, a little bit for on this bio because I want people to be able to understand what um, Entrepreneur to CEO is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my resources page and there's a little cool tool that I like to use called Jasper. And what Jasper does is it provides me with the content I need in order to autofill or help get my point across a lot quicker and put that information on the page. Not only for SEO purposes, but if you're a C-level student like me, um, and I consider myself a C student when it comes to to thinking about things, and because I think the world is 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 um, is um, what's the word for it controlled and ruled by C level students because they're right between the level of lazy and wanting to do a lot of exciting things. So you have this paradox where um, you have to focus on using more people because you're not smart enough to, let's say, build out a website quick, quickly and also you know, do the financial part of the business. So you're able to be better at working and managing with people, which you being the figurehead still, you know, profit off of that. I'm not going to take away from 
brilliant minds, but at the same time, those people had to think outside the box because they weren't extremely dumb and they weren't extremely smart to a degree. I'm not taking away from people like that. But anyways, so I want to create a company bio for my Facebook. I'm going to do this real quickly. Let's go to the website and let's do a company bio. The name of the company is going to be Entrepreneur. CEO, company information, um, we help average people have access to entrepreneurship. Too witty. And the cool part about this is you can change the language now to be British, which I think British people sound pretty cool, so I'm going to. Out uh, there, I'm going to put two outputs. Let's see what pops up. Bully believe that entrepreneurship should be accessible to everyone. That's where we offer a range of programs and services that help the average people start and grow their business. Whether you're just starting out or you've been in business for years, we can help you take your business to the next level. Our mission is to help as many people as possible achieve the dreams of entrepreneurship. We're here to support you every step of the way. I like that. That's pretty dope. Let's just take that. And I'm just going to add that into the bio. What would have taken me several hours Let's see. oh man they they really are jipping you with this we believe that entrepreneurship should be accessible to everyone We make entrepreneurship accessible to the average person. I didn't know that you did that, that there was like a character woman. But that's cool. All right. Um, let's see what else. If you have any hobbies or words. I don't really believe that this information is extremely valuable to have, but you can also have that if you want to provide some sort of personal touch to your Facebook page. Um, adding the appropriate information in there is going to be important, making sure that you fill out your email address. If you have an address specifically for your business, like if you're a restaurant or a law, a law firm, doctor, this is kind of, it's essentially another citation page for your business. So think of it as filling out a Google My Business page or an Apple Maps citation page. You're going to be doing the same exact thing, filling out the information and making sure that is uniformity. And hopefully I need to tell my content editors to make sure that there's a word that comes up, uniformity that pops up here um, in all of your citations or your backlinks or your accounts like Facebook. And Facebook is a very, very, very valuable website in the eyes of like Alexa, I think it ranks as one of the top websites. Um, at least that's what it was several years ago, there might be other, but in terms of like its safety and um, credibility, it's a very credible and high ranking valuable website. So having your link on this page is going to be very um, uh, beneficial uh, for your ranking on Google. If you have any price ranges in terms of which, like how much your people are going to spend, you could add that there. You can add specific services if you have them here, just to kind of give you an idea of what those services will look like. Let's see what just happened. Oh, here we go. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding if I if there's any social links or let's see what services that we can add. Is it delivery, online booking, reservation, like it's specifically if you are and I'm going to put online classes there because that's what it is. Um, gender specific, there isn't. If you're into the pronouns and stuff like that, you could put that into there as well, too. Um, privacy and legal info. If you have a privacy policy link, um, you can add that in there and I have one. I don't really necessarily care. I mean, specifically on my, the students that I have um, on board, they have a view of the privacy policy link, but I don't necessarily find this, uh, this information having on there extremely valuable. It's not like people are going to 
they're they're going to go to your website and, and look at for your privacy policy link. So I don't think you need to have it on there, but you can if you want to. Um, if you wanted to provide information on specifically the the uh, work, college, or high school information on there, you can as well. And you know I'm not going to go through all these tabs because I don't find that they're extremely important. But the point is, is that you can fill out all this information here um, based off of what applies to your business. That's my um, clock in my house. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on manage and we're going to go into the back end to see just a little bit more of a if there's any posts, any data, we can see what type of posts have reached lately. And I haven't posted to this account um, since I've created it, just because I've it, this course has been years in the making in terms of um, what we plan to create. But I actually created face, uh, this Facebook page about a year ago, and it still gets traffic and everything. So once I start posting to it, it's definitely going to have a lot more bandwidth coming to it as well. But you'll be able to see all of the customer insights in this page right here and understanding your target mar uh, target market your audience who's clicking on your page that is very important for being able to understand and launch a product if you don't have that information you're essentially shooting in the dark there's different tools that you can use in terms of appointments events jobs page access if you want to if your company is at a point where you have to be communicating with um, where you want to have a, a virtual assistant, have specific access to your account. You can go and do it uh, that way. Also, there are different ways in terms of how this, um, how um, you can connect a, a, a different app um, specifically a CRM that allows you to configure where that information Let's see what this is. Let me click on it. So I have my Facebook page connected to my CRM specifically and go high level. And I'm going to be talking about that in a second. So the metrics behind that may be a little bit different um, for you guys uh, than if you're not using high level, if you're using a different CRM. Uh, but then also you can link your specific Facebook account, your business account with an Instagram business account as well. So that when you post from your Instagram, it also posts your Facebook and vice versa. And then also WhatsApp as well. I've linked my personal Instagram account, which is now a business account with his account because I'll be posting on both of these as well. On top of that is having your notifications as well there too, and making sure that you have them customized to your liking. I find that these things are very, very important to be able to have an understanding of because it allows you to be able to really honestly manage them and, and um, customize how the interaction on your Facebook page will be for your business. And that really matters. Um, if you're getting a billion of, of unwanted notifications, then you want to be able to turn them off. And also you would want to be able to turn them on in the event that there is a uh, particular a database. So what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be hopping into a system, um, the Go High Level system I use, and I'm going to be showing you how this particular Facebook page feeds completely in to the CRM system that I use, Go High Level, to manage my clients and prospects on a daily basis, and which I've been doing to run uh, my web development business since 2018. All right, so what I've done is I've just hopped into um, a client of mine and they currently have face their Facebook business page integrated into the software. And a lot of people are like, well, why does that matter? Well, the nice part about this system is that it, it flows in all of your emails, your text, and most social media accounts such as the Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, TikTok, and Twitter as well. So you'll be able to essentially respond and interact with your customers from one platform rather than having a billion different ones on there. And as you can see, this is where this person wanted to know um, specifically where the, the business was located, even though that was on the bottom page of, of it. But um, they want, they I guess they stumbled upon on Facebook, asked this 
particular lead, hey, thanks for contacting us, in which this is just a autoresponder that I have there um, on there. And um, there was someone that I was supposed to respond back to. I guess they didn't. But you would essentially be able to see how the Facebook Messenger can be very, very um, optimizing when it's integrated into the system. Now, the way you'd go about doing that is by clicking on the settings button and then and then clicking on integrations, which is at the very bottom. All right, and as you can see, their Facebook page is connected. And also you can integrate your Facebook advertising account as well to it. As you can see, they have two um, there. They didn't specifically do that much Facebook advertising because I ran an SEO campaign for the business and they get a lot of leads generated through web chat and online in general. So um, that's the beautiful part about having those different avenues is that they lead all into the specific system making it um, a better experience, in my opinion, for the, the business owner. And just to go over um, uh, what exactly the Facebook business paid, what you should be doing as well too is, is making sure that you start a like campaign. So you can actually send out, invite friends to like the page uh, so let me switch out here. So I'm going to switch out to, I have to switch out to my other section, but I want to invite a bunch of people to my page. Let's see. And let me make sure it's inviting everyone to, I'm just going to do that. Let me send that and see what happens. Okay, so what I've just done is I've invited everyone to um, to like my new page, Entrepreneurship, Entrepreneur to CEO. And from there, that is going to start to have more people connected to my Facebook page. And then when I start promoting more high quality images and videos, as well as promoting my YouTube channel on this Facebook page, there is going to be some traction involved in this system. Another, on top of that, it's really nice when you can connect your Facebook appointments tab into the system CRM, making a lot more efficient, optimize your business that way. Anyways, guys, I hope this is a, a very an, an informative tutorial. Um, I think by following these tips, you can optimize your Facebook page and maximize your chances of attracting new customers and potential customer I mean potential leads. Um, growing your business and maximizing your efficiency. And um, I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. I'm really excited. I have 10 subscribers now. I'm looking to get to 20 now, which would be great. So um, if you haven't already, make sure you like, hit that smash, hit, uh, smash that like button and subscribe. And I'd, you know, I'd really uh, appreciate that. And leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this video um, and what you'd like me to talk about about next. Thank you. And um, this is Technology at Work. Talk soon.